Y'all ever were wondered about the Miami rappers that talk about across the bridge? Well, today I am gonna show you exactly what that means. Miami is not all glitz and glamour, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and all that good stuff. Yes, that is South Beach across the bridge, but I'm gonna show you the real Miami. This is the real Miami. Where we are today is Lincoln Memorial Cemetery. This cemetery is a final resting place for many Miami pioneers. We got the first black millionaire lays here, D.A. Dorsey. We have the first, well he, was, well, he is the first, but he is the founder of the Miami Times, the first black newspaper, as well as Gwen Cherry. She was the first African-American woman to um, lead in our legislature. This is Miami. This is Lincoln Memorial. Yes, you probably wonder like, dang, why are all the the caskets above ground? Yes, Miami, we are probably about six feet below sea level. So some areas, it does require us to have our burial sites above ground. But like I said, this is one of the landmarks in Miami. Off to the next one. You know, I'm not even actually sure 100% if that was the purpose for the above ground burial. Could it have been cheaper to just, you know, instead of digging, have the plots uh, above ground? But either way it goes, this, this land here holds a lot of history. And if you're ever in Miami, make sure you come by 46th Street, 30th Avenue, the Lincoln Memorial Cemetery. So up next, I am going to take you to the Hamps, another legendary spot. So let's go. So we're on our way to the Hampton House now. Don't want to give you too much information before we get there, but we'll be there shortly. We've made it to the historic Hampton House. This building that you see behind me has so much history. First of all, if you were an African-American celebrity, singer, dancer, whatever it is that you were, and you came to Miami to perform on Miami Beach, you were not allowed to stay on Miami Beach. So this is where you had to stay. The Hampton House, we had Aretha Franklin, Martin Luther King, Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X. This has so much history in this one building and it's just breathtaking and mind-blowing you know everything that went on here it has been renovated and repainted and all that good stuff but if you want to get more information on the history that this hampton house holds make sure you visit hampton house they have a welcome center you can take your tours and just get everything that it is that you need so I'm gonna bring you up to the side so you can get a good look at it. But when you see it riding down 27th Avenue, you know exactly where you are. So as you see right here, historic Hampton House Cultural Center. And when I say it's full, full of culture and full of history, this is definitely a Miami historical landmark. You must check it out. So we're off to the next location. Let's go. Riding through Liberty City, headed to our next destination. That is the Olinda Projects. Those projects was actually where my husband was brought home to from the hospital and lived for many, many years. So we're in approach and we'll get back to that when we get there. Right here on the left, we have Olinda Projects. Still standing, boarded up, no longer has any residents in there. 
they are going to demolish them and hopefully rebuild for the community. Ladies and gentlemen, Olinda Project. I can, my husband was brought home to these projects from the hospital, Jackson Memorial Hospital. That's another place you gotta check out <laughs> from Miami. Right here, this unit, unit C. Wasn't here, but I'm sure I can hear a lot of grandma's kids playing, a lot of good times out here. Clothes lines. I'm sure the days were great. A lot of trash left behind. Unfortunately, it's just a rubble of mess left. But like I said, hopefully when they demolish them, they make nice homes for our community. Okay, hopefully by now y'all are in the chat. If y'all from Olinda Projects, if y'all from Miami and this is hitting home for y'all, let's talk about it, let's talk about it. And if you want a fire Sasha sandwich, you gotta go across the street and go to Hope's and get that Sasha sandwich. I like my Sasha sandwich kind of like burnt. Give me the ketchup, mayo, mustard, some onions and relish. Great, $2. Well, anyway, next we are going to head up to the Poke and Bean Projects. So. Don't go far. Y'all already know. Talk to me. Let me know. Let's go. Peaceful community. Yes, our corner stores. Yeah, the usual people hanging out the stores, but no harm in nobody. It's not what it all made to seem or cut out to be. Everybody looks out for each other. It's all love in the hood. And right across this light, we have the Pork and Bean Project. It's not much left to it, but if you can see the first blue building, orange building, or yellowish color building, and the blue building behind it, it's pretty much what's left, and it'll extend from this avenue um, down a couple abs. but 15th Avenue is the main avenue for the Pork and Bean Projects. We're gonna turn inside and let y'all take a peek. We're here. Liberty Square, AKA, the Poke and Bean Project. The field, I can tell you, was riddled with children. Put everybody on the porch, looking out for one another. But this is what it's come to. Everything is boarded up, closed up, because we have bigger and better things for the community. But here, you have your, your bigger unit, two-story units. Across the way, you have your smaller units. Those are the one-story units. Your alleys in between. And just fun. Fun, fun, fun. But this is what Liberty Square has now become. What we see right here across the street. <laughs> I don't even know if we can still call them beans. But those are the new beans and change is always good. But this right here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a few units that are still active. You still have some uh, families living in them. I'm not sure if they're gonna get rid of all of it completely, but as you can see here, the majority of them. Now, these units, I mean, extended as far as the eye can see on both sides and 
they're gone. What you see here now is what it is. And what's left here may not be here if you ever come visit Miami next time. But the iconic, the history of the beans, where we stand here today. All right, so up next, hopefully when y'all do visit, it's still here so y'all can get y'all last sneak peek of it. But up next, is anybody from the beans? Let me know in the comments. If you are, let me know what unit, what section y'all rolled with or where you live. All right, so up next, we're gonna head to Little Haiti. So don't go far. Right here on the right, we got the community center. You know who yeah. Trina is. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful is Trina's father. I hear it all so much. Ask me if we related. No, we're not related, but Trina, this is her hood. <laughs> Beautiful Trina, yeah. So this is 15th Avenue, the Trina mural. And next, we gonna head to Little Haiti. So let's go. All right, so we leaving the beans, headed down 62nd, going into Little Haiti. So how y'all doing today? <laughs> Everybody's well? Get into the chat if you're not in the chat. Let's talk. If you're from Lil Haiti, if you're from The Beans, if you're from Olinda Projects, if you've even had a sausage sandwich from Holtz, let me know. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, the real Miami. What they consider across the bridge. This is what I'm giving y'all today. Hey. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Miami Beach or South Beach, but I just hate the fact how they isolate Miami to that area when in fact that's not what Miami is or that's not where Miami is. So let me continue to take you on this ride. Right here on the right we have Edison Senior High. Shout out to my Zoe, shout out to Zoe Pound. We in La Haiti. Really just left a fingerprint on this city. Here's the Haitian mural. I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all protect that picture of my life. A man bought the property three years ago. This shit had trash, this hot. I used to sleep against the wall right there. I used to piss and shit and smoke my crack right now. One day without meeting the owner, I got it and started cleaning up. I stayed faithful, look God bless me. I've been here almost a year. It ain't no water here. I used to have to go in the corner and get water. So if y'all can leave me, whatever I do is donated. You know what I'm saying? I have to yeah. hustle to get myself. So I, I still love y'all, but the, the kids do graffiti. I don't let them fuck with that picture. No. I asked the wife to leave the picture on the wall. So the husband and wife are crazy about me. My name is Steven. They call me Trinidad. I was born in Trinidad. I grew up in Jersey. I did 18 years in prison. My brother had died. I got heartbroken. I came to Miami and I started um, using crack as, a, as you know, to heal the pain. But, I'm fighting back. I'm also an automotive engineer. God bless me. I'm, in fact, next month, I'll be in um, New York Times Magazine, believe it or not. Really? A guy named Sherry, um, he was doing, they had a, like a Haitian thing where they walked through the streets with the flutes and the drums. And it was just, they parked up right here. And I was over to fixing the friend's bike. And I was like, man, why is this man got his camera on me? 
So he blessed me. The next day he told me, he said, man, um, next month you'll be in um, New York Times Magazine. I go, wow. But, you um, gotta check that out. Yeah. I did some voodoo stuff in the back. Daytime, I do my thing back in the nighttime. I sleep in the front or out here. That's scary as shit at night. It's scary. It's scary at night. So. Okay, you say you do some voodoo stuff. No, you see the wall? Uh-huh. The, um, the tree's blind. If you come here, say you'll see the blood and the bowl and the knife. So what type of ritual? No, I don't do it, but that's... Oh. Good. They say the lady that used to live here was a voodoo priest. In fact, when I opened up the building, the first thing I seen was a voodoo doll. But I'm see the guy in the coffin? Guy in the coffin? Come closer. It ain't gonna bite you. You're standing right there. See the guy in the coffin? Where? Yes. On the wall, the picture. Oh, on the yeah. wall. <laughs> anyway, that trash can, we flipped it over. I, I put it, I did all this shit by myself. I filled the holes up, God bless me. I pulled the vines down, but it's growing back, but I'm still working on it. Cleaning up. Yeah, I do all, I fill the pots all, I clean the neighborhood. You know, they look out. So I clean it up, they drive by, I throw trash everywhere. I clean it every day. Like I said, if y'all leave me something, I'm right now thirsty as shit. Yes. I need the water something. back. God okay. bless. Let so me enjoy yourself. You yes. Know, there's a video right on the wall that we own the building, my boss is, so you got permission. Okay, thank all right? you. Thank, yeah, thank you. you. Hood stories. They get better and better as you meet them. So, if y'all check out the New York Times, he said he's going to be in the New York Times next month. Make sure to pick up that, that issue. And this is the Haitian mural off of Northeast 2nd Avenue. Beautiful. I love my Caribbean people. As y'all may know, if you don't know, my father's Cuban, my mother's Bahamian, and Haitian people hold a really close space in my heart. So, and what'd you say your name was? Stephen with a PH, but Steve. everybody calls me Trinidad. I was born in Trinidad. My dad and mom got separated a while back, so she sent me to um, America to live with my dad. I hated it ever since. My stepmother turned my heart against my dad, and I'm, I'm finally missing him now, so I've been separating. He, in fact, he came way up in Little Haiti and found me. Okay, well, I ran Steven, and jumped out of the neck. You said you were thirsty. I got something God for you. you. Thank you. Okay, and we are approaching a Haitian restaurant that the name of this restaurant is Chef Grill. Excellent Haitian food. If you are in town, make sure you check them out right here on the corner. Great, great food. So this is Northwest 2nd Avenue and 54th Street if you're interested. This is Wynwood. This is the little Puerto Rican hood. That's what I'm saying. We are so diverse. You name it, we got it. Got your Javarito food market. restaurants, corner stores. Joyeria. We made it to Overtown safely. And this is Red. Red. Red, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. short bit of time and unfortunately that's what's going on here in Overtown, Overtown. but it's crazy but you gotta love Overtown hey right? love my 
<laughs> I ain't got the love, man. Only thing I got love myself, God, baby mama, that's it. So when you love something like this here, they ain't worth the love this because this ain't working out. The people ain't sticking together no more. Before you go in their brain, you got their head all wired up. Oh, he did this, he did And watch the nigga brain, see the nigga the prison. Kill another man. That's dumb. If a nigga is that smart and don't know, what's wrong? His mind ain't there. If you let a crack in your head, you real stupid. That's dumb. Hey, could have been said better. Thank you, Red. And thank you. Building up over town there, tearing down a lot of older structures, building new structures, fixing up our parks. It's kind of torn, you know, what is what is really the intention of it? Are they trying to push us out? Or are they really wanting to get a Like they're gonna get ready to do something with these two. And here we have the city of Miami historic Negro Black Police Precinct and Museum in Overtown. If you're in Miami, make sure you come check it out. Check out the history. This looks like it was dating back to 1944. Uh, there is just so, so, so much to talk about and know about the historic Overtown. Well, yo gang, I hope y'all enjoyed my tour of the real Miami here on this channel. Y'all already know we bring in it all, all type of different things. And um, I thought you guys should really understand and know what the real Miami is and what the term across the bridge meant. And this is a tour of across the bridge. So if you're in Miami, don't, or if you know somebody that been to Miami, don't let them show you no pictures of South Beach and Miami Beach and all that stuff. Ask them if they've been to 
the black police precinct, ask them if they've been to the Poke and Bean projects, ask them if they've been to Lil Haiti, and see if they've gained something from their Miami trip. So with that being said, yo gang, y'all already know I love y'all for life. And 